Hello, my lovely Marshall Blenders. How are you? How are you? So, I am going to be uh, testing out smelling CK Everyone. Who remembers CK1 when it first came out? It was like revolutionary. So this is a cute box. For me, it feels very, the colors and everything feel very aquatic. Doesn't it remind you of um, the Tommy uh, cologne that was very, you know, smelled very aquatic. So it comes out kind of in a bottle. So like if you wanted to put it inside of a um, decanter with the atomizer, you would be able to. So this one brings its own atomizer. You would put it in and seal it. And um, so I was reading on this one, it says it's very green and very citrusy. Um, the old CK1, the smell was very different. It was revolutionary. No one had really smelled something like it. And it was the first one to really market itself as a uh, fragrance for everyone. That was why it was CK1, right? So this one is called CK Every One. CK everyone, which means it's a flanker to the CK one. So it's CK everyone. Now learning flanker means, um, it could mean a spinoff. It could mean a copy. It can mean a one up. So in this case, this flanker means it's a spinoff of the CK one. So let's spray it. I'm going to be honest with you. One for you. My goodness mm. smells it's wonderful just off the bat I'm gonna be honest with you I had opened uh, another bottle of this to test it out already before I went I took a nap I was working I took a nap and I'm back and my break is almost over so I'm trying to take advantage and be able to get this done um, so I took a 10 minute nap covered myself with the covers when I removed it, oh my goodness. So when we talk about something called sillage, which means how the smell trails you and how it lingers, you know, where you can be in a room and leave, this one has a good sillage. At least for the last, um, I'm gonna say 20 minutes, it's had a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, if it's anything like the last CK, the, the CK1, it's going to last you a long time and the smell will be one that people can smell from beyond in an arm's length. Fortunately, it is very green, very citrusy. I wanna say very citrusy, it reminds, oh my goodness, this is an, it's a very, in a good way, intoxicating smell. Uh, so when they do describe it as green and citrus, it really is green and citrus. The citrus, for me, it could be grapefruit as well as, oh my goodness. And there's like a little bit, I smell something powdery. Maybe it's how they blend, how the different uh, different elements blend, but it's very powdery as well. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting this as a gift for yourself or a gift for someone else, I would say go for it because it's honestly, honestly not an expensive one. You get, it's when they talk about bang for your bunk, you get buck, you get this really big bottle. It's 6.7 fluid ounces. I got it from Fragrance Net. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but it's definitely less than $30. I saw some places have it for $21. For this large amount, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong. So yeah, it's wonderful. I, if you were to ask me my opinion on should it be, should you purchase it, go for it. It's unisex, you can't go wrong. Wonderful smell, great sillage, it's fresh. And honestly, for me, even though it is citrusy and green, I think the fact that it's green kind of gives it a winter uh, available smell. So it, it's good for summer, it's good for fall, good for spring, good for winter. Uh, it's one of those smells that, like, you know me, if I open my jacket, sillage, sillage, sillage. So, goodbye, my lovely Marshall Blenders. I have five more minutes to clock back in. See you soon.